Philly Film Games. It's over. Welcome back to Philly Film Games. We're still in the middle of Mega Man X because reasons, and it's fun. Get this thing started, will you? And I'm going to take on Armored Armadillo. I love alliteration. Hooray. And we're going to kick it up a notch with the jazzy music stuff. Whee. I'm flying now. Yipes. Oh. Slow it down there, Turbo. <sighs> yeah. So anyway, back to this whole idea of cold. Ah, uh, move, move. No, no, it wasn't this one. Oh, I screwed up. Yep, I screwed up twice now. Hooray, I'm dumb. Uh, anywho. I totally forgot the order of that stuff. So, uh, back to what I was saying. Uh, it's cold here. It's North Dakota. Cold North Dakota just sort of go together. Like peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, where you at, where you at? So, yeah, you go ahead there, buddy. I, uh, I gotta take care of this back here. I need that. So, anywho, as I was saying, it gets monstrously cold here. And one thing that you notice about things... Okay, well, fall to your death. That's cool, I guess. Um, one of the things that, likes. One of the things that happens around here, for some odd reason, students, especially when it comes to the, the building that houses my office, don't know how to hold on to coffee, because three times this week, people have, been, have spilled their co all their coffee uh, right outside the front door of the building. And I'm not talking like little cups of coffee, you know, like what normal human beings would, would have. I'm talking like super mega ultra gulps or whatever they drink nowadays. Because, you know, caffeine. Uh, so, like that's a scary thing. A small coffee or a, like, okay, a small hot chocolate in... Uh, at our coffee joint here is like 12 ounces that's kind of big if you ask me I mean that's I remember growing up like having anything bigger like a 12 ounce bottle of soda was like crazy and now oh, gotta, gotta, gotta nail this dude come on die 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 Thank you. Yes. Whew. Well, out of breath almost for that. But, like, coffee here is kind of large. And for even a small is rather large. So you're stuck with this, this whole thing. Of, of large coffee, even though it's a small coffee, your large, your smalls aren't very, are, are pretty large, if you ask me. Okay, get on with the joke, stupid. Uh, so, anyway, people apparently have butterfingers because they've been spilling coffee right outside the front door, and in this weather, that's an issue because. Uh, hello. Because what happens is that stuff freezes instantaneously almost. To the point 
it looks like someone threw a chocolate snowball. Because that's the other thing about coffee. It's not even coffee at this point. Coffee to me has always been the bean, that you the, 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 the grounds, the sugar that you might throw into it, and maybe some milk. The only real coffee is black coffee. Anything else, you're just watering it down. Even if you're milking it down. So I, I, I don't understand how coffee is even considered coffee nowadays. Because it's not the same coffee that it used to be. And I find that really dumb. So where am I going next? Oh, I'm dying. Launch Octopus. That's where I need to go. I need to go to him. So, it's just this whole idea of, you're not drinking coffee anymore. You're drinking flavored milk that just happens to be hot. Like, I was surprised. My hometown a couple years ago, got a Starbucks. And I thought there was no way on earth this thing would survive more than six months. And somehow it did. It survives. And it might be the fact that a lot of the people getting coffee are coming off the Turnpike. My hometown's in Turnpike Town of Pennsylvania. That might be the only reason why it even, it even functions. But, uh... I honestly did not anticipate that place to last as long as it has. And at first I was against the place. I'm like, why would I want something like that? Now I'm so glad it's there because it's a retreat from insanity and stupidity that my hometown provides. It's just so nice. Ah, die! Eat laser! Ah! Thank you. That I'm just so glad. Like I, like, I've never been the biggest fan of Starbucks, but I'm just glad. Oh, I don't like getting sucked in. Uh, whew. That. Uh. Well, hello. Ah, uh, oh, come on. That's just wrong. Oh, good. Well, at least I'm here. Oh, what? Oh, boo! That sucked out loud. Yes, go to the octopus again. I gotta take him out. Ugh. Yes, I'm very... Uh, but it, like the entire now the entire front entrance to the building that I work in is coffee covered because no one's gonna scrape that crap off and it's frozen there. It's a sad tragedy that I gotta go and it's not like it's just like on the steps or anything. It's on the steps. It's it's across the doors. Facilities isn't going to clean that crap up until it gets warm enough to, to warrant it. So, I don't know what they're expecting, but I don't know. It just seems sudden. Oh, hey. Uh, I don't know. And take it, take it, take it like I know you love it. And not leave me anything. Thank you. Because you know, don't need health or anything. Don't need health at all or anything. You know. Ugh. This is... 
I'm sorry, I'm not talking all that much, man. My nose is killing me at this point. Back to the point of death. Die! Please die! Thank you. Thank you, I need that. Thank you very much. So, yeah, Starbucks, kind of important. Not really, though. Uh, I don't recall there being anything up here. Let's try it anyway. No, uh, there's nothing up here. Oh! But I do know I need to take care of this problem. Because, if I take care of it, nice things happen. Holy cow, how many rounds do you need to take, you bum? Hooray! See, that was the other great thing about this game. You could find secrets like this by doing stuff. Good times all the time. So now I got this big old dragon to take on. Ah, take that. Ugh. Ow. Ah, dude, that's so weak. All right, do this one more again. Oh no, not really? Ah, can't believe how mildly frustrating this is getting. I used to kill this game all the time. And I'm dead again. Well, next time on Philly Film Games, I'll try to get through this crap again. Good grief.